As Alice sat contemplating life, she saw a white rabbit run past awfully fast. She rubbed her eyes in disbelief. Could it really be? She followed the rabbit down a hole. He ran as fast as he could go, for he seemed to be late to a very important date. Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you what you can do with an old clock, so don't throw it out just yet. I'm going to begin by giving it a few coats of this acrylic paint in white. And today I am participating in a challenge hosted by the Schwalvens Nest and Chevy French Door. The playlist and their channels is in the description box. To decorate the clock I have used my Cricut because I'm trying to use it more. This is the second time I've used it and I've had it for two years. So I've got I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. That's obviously from Alice in Wonderland, the rabbit, because we are doing a clock and it's related to time. And then I have the numbers of the clock here, so 1 to 12. I've done them in different sizes and I'm going to have them jumbled up all at the bottom here like it's fallen because nothing makes sense in Alice in Wonderland. And then I'm also going to have the rabbit here as well. So I usually do all of this by hand and you can do that. You can also print it on to some paper and just stick it on. And if you do have a Cricut, this is some vinyl that I've got from Arteza. I'll leave the link in the description box. So I'm just removing them and I'm going to start placing the numbers on the bottom. And if you are doing an Alice in Wonderland project like me, what's great about it is that you don't have to be super neat and get everything perfect. It just works more in favour for the theme. So there's all the numbers. I really do like it already. Now I'm going to fix the hands of the clock which I removed to spray paint. I'm just going to hot glue it together. Now I've glued these together and just before I place it inside, I'm just going to make it look a little bit funky and bend it a little bit, give it a bit more character and make it look a little bit more crazy. And now I'm just going to glue it inside. Now I'm going to move on to adding the I'm late part. Now over here I've got some space to add the white rabbit. To do that I'm going to be doing my own decoupage, so I'm just going to be printing on a tissue paper. You're going to start with a piece of A4 paper for your decoupage, and then you're going to take some tissue paper and you're going to stick it on top with a glue stick. You don't want to make it too sticky, otherwise your tissue paper won't come off, but you want it sticky enough to hold so it can go through the printer. I'm just taking my paper and I'm going to place it directly on top of the tissue paper. And now you're just going to cut around it so that you have the tissue paper the size of your A4. And this is great if you have a design that you can't find on decoupage paper and it's also cheap. So once you're done, you're going to place this inside your printer and make sure it's the right way up and then simply just print your design. So here's my design printed on the tissue paper, which is on the paper. And as you can see, it's really easy to peel because it's not stuck on too much. Okay, so I've just cut it out and then you're just going to peel it away gently. As you can see, I've already done some here and I just had an inkjet printer. Okay, so here he is. I'm just going to add some glue to the back of the rabbit. I might actually add it to the clock because I don't want this to tear at all. So I'm just going to apply it direct. So here's the finished Alice from Wonderland clock. I really love it. I feel like this would be super expensive in a shop. And I had this clock for the longest time in my craft room, just waiting for an idea to come along. So I'm just glad I finally got to use it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed.